Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Mu'ayyad Naji. I'm presenting to you the CS301 course computer architecture and organization research project. This project has been presented and prepared by the student of Yambo University College Computer Engineering Department and their supervision of Dr. Yasser Ashiri. This project is about computer architecture simulation tools. In this project, I'm presenting to you the most popular simulation tool called Gen5. The outline of this discussion to give a brief introduction about the history of the Gen5 and also given the key feature it has. Then I will show you how to build and run the Gen5 simulator using the Ubuntu Linux operating system. So let's get started. For the sake of understanding, there was a popular simulator called M5, invented by the University of Michigan in 2006. Around the same time, another simulator tool called GINS, invented by the University of Wisconsin Medicine, existed. GINS was equally or even more popular than M5. However, both of these simulators have some issues in some points. It hence the developers to come up with this brilliant idea that both of these simulators could combine. So after a long time of researching and testing, they came up with the GM5, which combined the goodness of both these simulators. So in short time, GM5 became the most popular computer architecture simulator in the world. I quoted this saying from the GM5 official website. It says the Gen5 simulator is a modular platform for the computer system architecture research, encompassing system level architecture as well as processor microarchitecture, which means Gen5 can module and simulate almost everything, right from the system calls, operating system kernels, processor, uh, memory interconnection, and everything else that can we think about the computer system. The features. Gen5 runs in two execution modes. First, system call emulation, where only the processor and the memory are emulated. The second, full system, which is equivalent to running a virtual machine on a system, such as a virtual box and VMware. Gen5 has many binaries for the simulations. It has Gen5 debug, Gen5 OPT, Gen5 proof, Gen5 fast. Gen5 also support different instruction set architecture such as MIPS, Alpha, ARM, Power, RISC 5, Spark, x86, and Null. As we know, x86 is one of the most popular instruction set architecture used in personal computing system. And ARM is another popular instruction set architecture used in a mobile computing system. Gen5 also supports different CPU models like Automic Simple CPU, Timing Simple CPU, In Order CPU, and Out of Order CPU. Gen5 also uses two memory models Classic, which is taken from M5 Simulator, the second is Ruby, which is taken from James Simulator. Gen5 also supports two different interconnection networks, Simple and Garnet. Gen5 also uses different platforms, which is supports Linux, Ubuntu, Mac OS, and Solaris. The third part of this discussion will be presented by my teammate, Rayyan Umair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a bonus part for GM5 for CS301 course. The student, name for, the student name for the project is Rayano Meir and Moyed Naji and Abdullah Nizari. And it is instructed by Dr. Yasser Shihri. The contents, uh, how to configure and build GM5 and run it on Ubuntu 18.0.4. So, first part I will talk about how to download GM5. The second part I will talk about the requirements for GM5 before run GM5. The third part I will 
talking about how to check number of CPU and architecture for your system the the last part uh, I will run the first program output on the GM5 so let's start download the GM5 first I just request to download git from my terminal so the first uh, step I do I just download the git library and packages so the git library and packages it's helping me to download any resource from internet to my Ubuntu system so after downloading git library after that I I, I went I, I wrote in the terminal git clone and I specify the 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 URL for GitHub for downloading GM5. So it takes a while to download that. After that, after I install the GM5, uh, then I try to download the requirements for the GM5 before I run the GM5. The first requirement is GCC 4.8 or greater. This is basically it's to use environment variables in the GM5. So this is the command I wrote to download the GCC. It's in my system it's already uninstalled. So once I wrote this command it showed me that it's already uninstalled. After that I install cons because GM5 uses cons at its build environment. So I wrote this is command here. So after after it's already installed. After that, I I install the Python because most of the GM5 relies on the Python development libraries. So the Python is really you know it's basic things in GM5. After I wrote this is command and I install the the requirements for the Python. After that, we have to install the Brutbuff because this is it's for trace generation and playback basically it use if you if you don't need to trace generation and playback you don't need to to install this is not necessary by the way and this is the command for installing after that i wrote this is command after that i i, I went to the gm5 directory then i wrote this is command LSCPU to check the number of CPU I have in my system and the type of architecture and also another important details so here is showing me I have one CPU I don't know what's exactly showing me I have one CPU but it show me like that usually it's it's around 4 8 is depending on the system it show me one CPU I have only so before I before I run GM5, I have to make sure how 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 much CPUs I have. After that, I have to run the GM5. So I have only one CPUs. So after that, before I run my code, I just wrote a code. It's mm, easy program that run C. Uh, welcome to CS301 and I test this is program it's not too much code so before that here I wrote this is cons and I specify the directory for build x80 then minus j then I put 2 this is is based on the number of CPUs I have I have only one so I bought increment by 1 so I, b I bought here I have 2 CPUs is depending on your CPUs. If you have eight, you have to put nine like that. So here I put two CPUs. Then after that, I I run this command. It it take a while. After running this command, you can start running your last c command to run your GM5. After that, I run the GM5 on my terminal, and this is the final output. It shown me. This is the command here. I put it build 86. I specify this directory. I specify this directory and I, conf I and also this is file symbol.py. Then I put minus c. Then I specify the directory where I put my program on it. This is my app program here in this directory. 
After I running this command, it show me the output here. Welcome to CS301. This is what I wrote in printf. So it show once you see this, that mean your program is running successfully. And after that, you see exiting. This is mean after after executing the printf statement, the there is not nothing to execute. So it will exiting from the 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 program itself and it show you this and here is some some information about the program itself and here it's the day of the program once it's compiled and starting and executing <coughs> so at the end the GM5 basically is for computer architecture and it's useful for testing uh, a full simulation mode program so if you have a long code you can but this is will take more time to test it so at the end this is what we did and thank you very much